So, um, still in the context of security, because anonymity has this thing about security as well. Um, I would like to bring uh, upon uh, this concept that uh, came about with the advent of Bitcoin, which is the blockchain. This technology by itself means nothing. Um, however, in its essence, it's quite powerful uh, when uh, connected to many of the changes that we can produce in many of our structural infrastructures, well, uh, governmental infrastructures. Um, so the idea is that all of us have this list and uh, once uh, some of us do a change on, on the list, that change changes all the lists of everyone. And this is kind of the concept by itself. So what does this mean? For example, imagine in, the vo in a voting situation. Imagine that uh, someone uh, wants to vote. So I, as an individual, vote. And once I do that, I locked in the process. And once I do that, my vote is cast. But once I do that, uh, technologically speaking, uh, I cast my vote. And once I do this, um, it's locked down and all of the people that already voted or are still to vote know that I already voted. And by knowing this, the system itself accounts, accounts itself and guarantees that uh, no one can vote for me. And this is the good thing about bit, uh, blockchain, in fact, which is, um, by creating this system, um, we can in fact guarantee uh, sec security to uh, a lot of these small systems that we have in our daily lives. And by recognizing its potential, uh, there is uh, a lot that we can do to reform uh, many of the things that need to be reformed.